Okay? This is the definition of center of mass. It's a uh, center of mass is also sometimes called center of gravity. X bar center of mass is summation of X sub i m sub i over summation of m sub i, and Y bar is summation of Y sub i m sub i over summation of m sub i, and then uh, the integral version of this formula is X dm over integral dm. So I'll show you the, the integral uh, uh, examples on Wednesday. And then the, over integral dm. Now, one of the reasons we want to know how to calculate the center of mass of an object is because the center of mass acts as the, the focal point where gravity is concentrated. And you can treat the object as all of it, as if all of it is uh, concentrated as its center of mass. For example, let me take this bottle, okay? I'm going to throw it up in the air, okay? I'm going to throw it up in the air. And notice the motion that it takes. There's two motions, two sets of motions that it's doing, okay? There's one motion that it's doing around its center of mass. It's rotating around its center of mass. And then the center of mass of the bottle is making a projectile motion, as if, it, as if all the mass was concentrated there. So it it's, its motion is going to look something like this. Let's say here's the bottle. Here's the center of mass. And the center of mass is going to go up and go like this, just like the equations of projectile motion that we learned. right? Then on top of that, the object is going to rotate around its center of mass, so it's going to look something like this. But if you were to look at its center of mass, its center of mass should be going perfectly projectile motion. Okay? And then when we get to chapter 10, we'll talk about how to figure out its moment of inertia about its center of mass. That's a very important concept in physics. What is the moment of inertia of an object around its center of mass? You see. So first we'll learn how to find the center of mass of an object. Then we'll talk about what its moment of inertia is around its center of mass. You see. So let me do one example here of case where we're going to have to use the summation way of finding it. And then on Wednesday, we'll do the integration example. 